333. Hello! Welcome to episode 333. I've opened the door and I've let you all in to this podcast episode. We've been preparing it for a while, actually. It's been in the kitchen. We've been laboring over it. Uh, it's an exciting time for all of us here at the official podcast. Uh, Andrew. What? Do you want to tell them why? Um, Jackson, I don't want to spoil this moment for you. I want to make sure that you get everything that you want out of this big momentous occasion you hyped up. So why don't you tell them why? I fucking hate, you know, reverse cards, man. Come on, work with me. We're halfway to the satanic number. Mm, uh, that's not true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's going to take another eight years to get to that. Oh, well, it's, I you don't know. We'll be uh, like pop star desperate at that point and for the 666th episode we can dress up as like satan whatever they dress up as you know in red leather flash our dicks around Arthless chaps. that would be pretty hype mm -hmm. do you think people would notice if we just like the next episode we just moved up like to episode 5 and room 41 or something and just slowly <laughs> creeping up like that so i uh, yes, I actually think I would get DMs asking me, hey, Kaya, where's all the episodes? Someone removed them from Charlie's <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible, uh, the things people notice. I've noticed that as well. Well, uh, it's also, I, like, a very obvious one to go from, like, 300 well, one, to yeah. 500 overnight. Yeah. yeah. One day, yeah, though, sure, we too. should we should skip a single episode just to really fuck with people. Oh, yeah, I have, like, That's a fake huge. hidden episode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a what? Like a fake deleted episode that never existed, but we can make everyone believe like, oh no, they were just too spicy. We can reference it oh. all the time. Like, guys, episode 350. I, Charlie, I don't know why you said those words and thought it was okay, to be honest. You know. We, we could just pretend we got sued by a billionaire into <laughs> removing it. Like Elon Musk came after us personally. Ooh. Or Bill Gates. Now let's pick I like a... The... Like what? Let's pick a, uh, let's pick a more like less prominent billionaire in that space let's talk let's say like warren buffett or like that telephone guy in mexico sued us then they'll warren believe Notch, like the Notch most is back. Prominent he's mad at us ever. yeah that was that was quite okay. the, uh, the reach there okay but not the telephone guy in mexico whose name i don't yeah, even I don't know remember who the fuck exactly you're talking about. He's, he's the guy who owns, like, every telephone company in Mexico, and he's, like, a super billionaire. I don't know who you're talking about. I also don't know his name, though. Yeah. Who's, like, the perfect. poorest billionaire? Who's, like, barely making the billionaires list? Probably Notch. Or probably no. uh, the kids of certain companies. Kanye West. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> For a while there, I mean, he plummeted straight to uh, millionairehood, but yeah. For a while there, I think he was. Is there uh, any, is there any cases of billionaires <laughs> actually going broke due to like actual business, you know, issues? Because yeah. I feel like once you're at that level of money, it's just no. The Vanderbilts, the Vanderbilts well, were was... an super incredibly powerful rich family, and then just through bad investments, they lost like all of their goddamn money. Oh, I didn't yeah, know but that, that, that was like you're talking time. about a family. That was like I a, think yeah, Jackson yeah, means I'm like a individual singular billion, individual. Yeah. Which yeah. is not going to happen because it, if you have a business, if you, even if you go bankrupt, it's your business that goes bankrupt, not your personal funds. So I don't know. Yeah, plus you have billions of capital to like invest in ways to basically just keep generating money. So it's kind of like impossible to lose at that situation, which is why I don't think Notch is in any issue, like trouble. Well, he's not in any story. trouble, but of all the billionaires, yeah. he's the only one that doesn't currently still make money off their product, I, I I'm pretty sure. I think it's actually like... A impossible look at jk rowling she gives so much that she takes herself off the billionaires list and she still just keeps becoming a billionaire well like jk is a bad example money away enough jk is a bad example How? because she has merchandising that still happens today and is still extremely popular i mean remember she has yeah, an entire fucking theme the other... park yeah well, yeah but so do all the other billionaires i mean all the other well, billionaires that own shit that make them billionaires guy has a merchandising deal <laughs> i looked up i looked up his no, name by the way I'm, Carlos I'm saying they Slim all is his name they all have their assets that make all of their money at the end of the day they get their money from somewhere yeah Mexican yeah. phones. So if we're talking about a billionaire who's gonna fall out of that grace it's gotta be someone who doesn't have 
like a perpetually generating property. And that's hard yeah, to find. Yeah, but why that you just buy stock and they all have perpetually generating income, I assume. Well, apparently not yeah. the Vanderbilts. <laughs> yeah, why did they yeah, invest I don't know what in the better fuck things? They did. <laughs> Who knows, man? But they're broke now, yeah. The dumbest shit I see is, um, do you guys see how sometimes these celebrities will be like, I'm not leaving my children anything. I don't want them to grow up to be snooty, so they have to start from zero. I saw a celebrity recently announce this. Was it Jackie Chan or something? He no, announced that Jackie Chan like just hates his kid, right? Yeah, he just hates his son. Yeah, he announced that many oh, years ago like where he said, estranged. I want my son to like earn his living and not just coast off of my fame, so I'm not giving him jack shit. That is so fucking stupid. So he just hates his son then? Yes. Well, no, well, like, yeah. he, even more than that, he's like gone on record yeah. talking shit about his son. It's not just that. He actually doesn't <laughs> like his Says son. He's just an actual disappointment. Yeah. I'm surprised he hasn't like used the money that was going to go to his son to like just spend it on billboards that like attack his son. <laughs> <laughs> if you just, see like, this man, don't campaign. help him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just cyberbullying campaign. <laughs> What's Jackie Chan up to lately? Is he in anything? Rush Hour know. 4 coming out. Oh, yeah. Really? He's only got man, so much time left, though, ages. man. He's he's 69 years old. There's going to be... Holy shit. There's no, it's not going to be too much longer until he can't do those stunts. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. Can he still do them? Is he creaking yet? Uh, I don't know, man. He seems like he can do it. Is that why he Rick. hates his son? Because his son is like the picture of virality and youth, and he hates that. It stole it directly from his father. Viral? Did you mean to say virility? <laughs> yeah, virility. I don't think his son is viral. <laughs> Man, that makes me sad because I love Jackie Chan. I wish he was nicer to his son. Well, he's just a dick in real life, apparently, from what I've heard. Yeah, he but is. You never know how true that is. The the funniest, like, my favorite thing that Jackie Chan has ever done is the cartoon Jackie Chan Adventures. So good. Because it didn't have Jackie Chan in it whatsoever. So he, he yeah, he, he yeah. was not involved with it at all, and he did not voice his own character. He, but his character was in the show. Right, right, it's his likeness, but he had nothing to do with the show. The only That's not true. thing he was also in the intro. No, no, no. Well, yeah, he uh, for like fucking three seconds of the intro, yeah, and then it cuts back to the cartoon <laughs> version. But the the thing that he actually did for that show is the best because at the end they would have like those segments where kids would letter Jackie Chan for advice on stuff, and uh, they'd be like, "Hey, Jackie, how do you deal with a high school bully?" And Jackie would just always be in the gym, just like beating a fucking punching bag or something. And he'd look at the camera and he'd go, believe in yourself and you will be strong. And when you're strong, you can do anything. And then the credits would roll. And he would say that advice for literally every single episode. <laughs> I remember that. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like collecting little medallions or something. Yeah, right? the, like talismans. The, talismans. Talismans. the talismans. The talismans. The yeah. talismans. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was not a good show. Yeah, it was. It was fucking hype. <laughs> it, it was a fun show. It just wasn't a good, actually, Jackie Chan product because he just wasn't part of it at you all. You know what's a fun show? I recently watched, so my wife actually sat me down and made me watch Twilight, the first one. Let's go! And it's actually very You're funny. The... <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's what I was talking about. I just watched all five movies. They are beautifully fun bad. They are so fun bad. Mm -hmm. The second one isn't. So I've only seen the first two so far. The first one is fun because it's just so corny and it just almost every scene is laughable especially the first yeah. mm -hmm. when bella walks into the classroom and for some reason edward starts retching like he's about to throw yeah. up just because he's smelling her yeah. <laughs> and the shitty makeup they Incredibly used where like everyone's pale things. but you can see like their foreheads and their necks are still human colored it's a lot of fun but the second one i felt like they were taking themselves too seriously it was the uh life is strange problem where they figured, I guess, well, everyone's making fun of us. Let's stop doing the things that they make no, fun of what? us for. What? I, I got the exact... It's crazy how we watch the same things. We got the exact opposite impression. In New Moon, do you, did you already forget, like, how it starts? Like, they doubled down on everything everyone insulted from the first one. Literally everything that I, was terrible in the first... how it starts. Well, first of all, I was bothered by the fact that Edward is 
really not even in it. He's kind of just an apparition for the whole movie. Which is fucking, he's Bella a force sees. ghost. <laughs> he, like, yeah. he's like, <laughs> know, it's so like she gets a, she get, Yeah, she gets a paper cut and he's like, this is dis- disgusting. I can't be around you. <laughs> so he leaves. Like that's, I, and yeah, then he's gone. I prefer him. I prefer him actually being there in person and being his cringy self. I don't know why the whole vampire thing is put as a curse in this movie franchise where they're like, oh, it, it's such a horrible choice, Bella. Be, you don't know. You may think that you want to be mortal, but the downsides, Bella, you will sparkle in sunlight. Oh, yeah. okay. I just, I, I guess I will be mortal As super then. strength, and each person has like a specific power, like a vampiric power. Right. Is that the one so at I the end? I get to read minds, be super strong, and live forever, but I will be sparkly like diamonds. Is, oh no. Is, is that the one? about how weird it is that uh, Edward is like a 700 year well not 700 he's like a 200 year old vampire and he still chooses to go to high school each day yeah that's <laughs> like why explain that away as it's one throwaway line where they say well it's easier for us to stay in one spot long enough if we start our lives here young so it's basically just say pretending to be a high school senior but like how long can you really milk that for in the same community is no one eventually gonna notice that you don't age ever well, that's why they that's why they leave because they reach that point. Well, so yeah, then why go to high school like, in the first place? Yeah, but even from Edward's perspective, like you're like 200 years old, you really want to be in a high school setting each day. He's a like, hundred. Stop, you are exaggerating. He's a hundred, Jackson. Jesus. Oh, that's so much better. Mm-hmm. Okay, it and is. he also <laughs> falls in love with like a fucking 17 year old girl. That's cool. Yep. Yeah. That's why he chose, chose to go back there, is, I guess. Is the ending of that one when he's like, I'm going to fucking walk into the sun and show everyone that I'm a sparkly vampire. And yes, she runs over and goes, one. no, don't do it. And gives him a big old hug. What? Yes, no. that's, that's the end of the second movie. Ah, where right. Edward is about to kill himself because he thinks Bella is dead. And for that's some not, reason, he just doesn't the end have of the a movie, cell phone. Though. Yeah, but that's not the end of the Why? movie. Okay, that, that happens it's in, like, towards the, the end. It's like the last ten minutes, and then they have a really shitty fight with the Vatican vampire cult, I guess, <laughs> where they all notice, "Oh, Bella's immune to all of our powers for some fucking reason." Such a, <laughs> Such a tough franchise. Then the hundred-year-old creepo uh, Leonardo DiCaprio vampire takes Bella, the seventeen-year-old, back to his place, which. It, it's this postmodern, like, Silicon Valley tech billionaire crib that's just made out of glass and steel. And she's even like, why do you guys live in this fucking soulless little f- house? It just goes, what were you expecting? Like, coffins and dungeons? Like, yeah, kind of. That's way cooler. Than they this. also don't need to sleep, which is fucking hype. That is, that is awesome. Yeah, I do wish that I didn't actually, need to sleep. That's the best superpower. I don't, I, would you prefer uh, immortality? Or not having to sleep. Immortality. <laughs> not having yeah. immortality <laughs> still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because if I'm immortal, no. then sleep doesn't matter anymore. That's not a waste of time. Yeah, but you're immortal too. Yeah, exactly. No, that sucks. But why did you say oh, that? Yeah. Oh my god, this again. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely choose no sleeping over immortality. There's Ooh. no downside. There's no downside to immortality. Okay, whatever. Yeah, anyway, absolutely. so the other we, funny part have, is that we've had this debate far too many times on this show. We can't. Yes, let's instead make fun this. of the vampires and how they're the worst rendition of vampires in any franchise. So Bella will get like a paper cut on her finger, and the entire Colin family will start hissing like, "Ah, blood! Oh, oh, get her away from us! I need to suck her blood!" They all lose their shit, like they just smelled opium or something. And it's, you know, you're thinking how like. How does Edward go to school and be around a bunch of women all the time on their periods? Doesn't he always have this lust then? I think it's if the sight of blood. he can smell a drop of blood, blood across the room? I think it was the sight of they, it. But they have super smelling too. They do, yeah. No, they, they have super stench abilities, I get that. But I'm pretty sure what sets <laughs> them off is the, uh, the sight of the blood. Okay, so they also can't look at the color red then. That's fucking dumb. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. But well, yes. it comes with good trade offs because they play a mean game of baseball. Yeah, they were good oh, at yeah, baseball. I forgot about yeah, that they were super duper Wait. good at baseball. Is there any is there any uh, basis for them even like being ravenous about like menstrual blood? Is that ever established? Because maybe it's like a different 
degree of blood. Maybe it has to be like vein blood or something. Oh, As like vaginal to... blood doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's like polluted blood or something. They don't seem to be picky. So the whole Colin thing is that they eat animal or drink animal blood instead of human blood. That's how they satiate themselves. They hunt deer, so they don't have to hunt humans. But so if it can settle for that, again, Blade does all of this so much better. Just have blood banks for fuck's sake. It's so much easier. Uh, I have yeah. like a deer on the ready, right? I mean, if it's like one human cutting your finger in your household, it causes pandemonium. Have like in case of emergency blood behind a glass or something that you can crack and drink like a soda. You're analyzing this too much. This was all just so. I know it's, Stephanie it's Myers fun, but that's masturbate. that's the fun of it though. Is just analyzing it and just making fun of how fucking silly it is. All all of it. God, it's so good. I love that fucking series. <laughs> what was your favorite one? The third one. Uh, I think the third one's my favorite. That's Eclipse, right? Ooh, does it yeah, get that's, even better? That's when Jacob yeah, that, shows up, right? Jacob shows up no, in the first one. Like, but yeah, New he's, Moon he's is always there. New Moon is when he starts to like pop off. Like at the end of New Moon, uh, Bella and um, Edward are driving, and then Jacob is shirtless in the middle of the road, and he's like, "Oh, stop, stop the car!" So then she gets out and goes up to Jacob and says, "I love you to Jacob," right in front of Edward. Oh yeah. Oh right. <laughs> I remember and kisses yeah. him and says, "Don't make me pick because I'll pick him." Okay, I mean, you already picked, you asshole. You didn't have to say that out loud. And the, so the Wait, third one... Wait, who did she one, say that to? She said it to Jacob? Uh, to, yeah, to Jacob, the wolf guy. The third one is where it like goes really hard into cuckoldry, and it's so fucking good. <laughs> so Jacob is not... The wolves aren't immortal, right? No, they're not. Okay, so Jacob actually is 16. So, uh, what's his face? Edward is like creeping on a couple of... A little 16 and 17 year old girl and boy and just watching them basically as a cuck as they're kissing each other and having teen love. It's so weird. Wait, Bella's a fucking idiot. If she's an immortal vampire and turned in into an immortal, just date Jacob for a hundred years and then go to Edward. You can have both. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Game the system. Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting, yeah, that's a Plus, crazy with, life hack. It's not like Edward's going to prevent her from being with Jacob. Like you said, he's a cuck. Yeah, yeah he it's encourages like it. enjoyment for him as well. He likes it. We can we can goof on this all we want and very well deserved, but we also have to admit that Stephanie Meyer's kind of a genius for roping uh, Jacob in like that because the Team Edward versus Team Jacob shit was like the biggest phenomenon on the planet at the time. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Well, it's not like it's a new thing. Love triangles have existed in teen drama. Of course, uh, romance, but since the dawn of time. Of course, but Jackson, this one specifically just catered. It just wedged itself into pop culture perfectly on so many different levels. You have like the the romance shit for all the women who actually like the series. You have like the pop culture jokes from the series of how bad it is. You have like the fucking werewolves versus vampires, like fantasy arguments. Etc. Etc. Like Team Edward versus Team Jacob during that time period, you could not go anywhere yeah, without it. hearing about it. It's just fan service for that age group of girls. Exactly. On the movie theater, you can tell what's going on. Like all of the boys are always hitting on Bella, and they're all always shirtless for some reason. And every seventeen-year-old boy in the show has a six-pack. <laughs> not at all, actually. So that's what surprised me. The no? only one that's in good shape is uh, Jacob. Everyone else is like. Normal I guess body maybe type. I, I just funny to me when like Bella tries to drive a motorcycle or something and she crashes and Jacob runs up to her and immediately takes a shirt off yep. to like dab the blood yeah. on her forehead. But <laughs> that was what was surprising. Yeah. That's what was surprising to me because I thought like everyone was going to be in great shape or something because I remembered hearing about that back in high school. And it's literally just Jacob. Like all the other werewolves are like <laughs> like skinny fat. Like they're just like normal body types. And Jacob's just yeah, fucking still shredded. Abs, I think. No, they don't. Rewatch the scenes. They're just like actual normal body types, like a hundred percent normal average yeah, body maybe types. I just remember the werewolves? I definitely or, remember yeah, them all included. being shirtless, though. The, the werewolves. Edward is also not in amazing shape. He's just skinny. <laughs> so he's just like really skinny. He's also actually, but they they were full yeah, well aware of that Jacob. too, because Jacob does take every opportunity to take his yeah. shirt off, no matter what. No, they 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 do go hard on that. Yeah. Well, that was improv. <laughs> that wasn't in the Taylor script. Taylor Lorna just yeah. <laughs> Taylor Lorna just enjoyed it. 
<laughs> what a what a funny divergence of where their careers would end up. Fucking Edward Cullen goes on to um go Batman's. go on to be in the lighthouse and Batman, like huge movies. And then Jacob, wh what has he done? Where is he I right think now? He hated Taylor Swift. He stopped acting, I'm pretty sure. I don't think yeah. he acts anymore. Damn. Oh, he was Shock Boy and Lava Girl, wasn't he? He was one of he them. Was, Shock he, Boy. He was was Shark he? Boy. What? Yeah, he was, I didn't know that. Shark Boy. It's funny. Yeah. That was the peak. <laughs> uh yeah. It's a it's a fun series. It's fun to laugh at. It's so um, good. So far, yeah. yeah, for sure. Are you gonna finish it, Kyle? Oh yeah, probably. I mean it's fun. Like I said, they're, they're, some of the scenes are a little drawn out because it just all of the men want to talk about their feelings and how much they love Bella. <laughs> Again, it's just female fan service, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, those well, are the scenes where you can just zone it. out and look at your phone. Yeah, but, but let the girls have it. It's fine. You got like <laughs> Mad Max and shit like that. It's like male <laughs> fan service. It is. It is unequivocally it is a, sh a series for girls and women. It's. It's not shy about that fact. It doesn't try to appeal to men. It really just tries to get that demographic. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. What I don't understand is why everyone likes Bella. She's so fucking boring. She's like, there's nothing bad. She's like brain dead. She's actually a fucking zombie. Yeah. The Aaron had a theory that I think is probably accurate. The reason why the vampires can't read her mind is because she's so fucking stupid. She doesn't have like thoughts. <laughs> so it's just actually blank. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, that man. makes sense. Yeah, I'd believe that. Classics. Classics of film they are. What, Andrew, what are the classics of that? Uh, fuck you! I was gonna say, speaking <laughs> of classics, oh, you took my thunder. I stole your thunder. Man, fine, but only for you, Jackson. Only because Jackson wants to hear our classic ad reads. And what you need I to do. know is classic is being ripped off by your big wireless provider. There's always a catch. There's always fine print in that contract. There's always just contracts. You ever read through that entire thing? Yeah, doubt it. Fucking doubt it. But Mint Mobile is going to offer you premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. And what's the catch? Nothing. At all. They are the first company to sell wireless service online only, meaning that they will cut out the retail stores. They'll cut out the bullshit middlemen. They will give you a plan directly. And that means you just pay for it and then you are good to go. It will give you the best rate whether you're buying for yourself or a family. And they f have family plans that will start at just two lines. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your contacts. Switching to Mint Mobile will get you premium wireless service and will start at just $15 a month. So if you, I, love I don't know. Mobile. I have a bunch, by the way, I'm on the $15 plan. Oh, anything about your experience you'd like to add? Yeah, Mint Mobile doesn't have those uh, nonsensical know your customer laws where, you know, every other provider, you usually have to walk into a store and provide ID and then they run a soft credit check on you and everything. Mm. Mint Mobile doesn't have that. You can literally just walk into a store, grab a SIM card off the shelf and leave paying cash or just order one online as an eSIM, 15 bucks a month. You can enter literally any name that you want into uh, during sign up, any address huh. and any payment method and you're good to go. You have a phone number now. Awesome. And data, which they recently upgraded from four gigabytes a month to five for the same price of 15 bucks a month because they got acquired by T-Mobile, I think. So, yeah, I really, really like Mint Mobile. Wow. It sounds like the VPN of phone plans where if you care about privacy or other circumstances, sounds like a good uh, plan to pick up. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash official. That's mintmobile.com slash official to cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month and to watch those really cute commercials with Ryan Reynolds. Go to mintmobile.com slash <laughs> official. Boy, do I hope he's still a spokesman for them because... He is, yes. <laughs> yeah, he I made a lot of money from the... From the acquisition, by the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't he? He's doesn't he own some now. of it? I think he's a co-owner. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan Reynolds, for giving us 
such a wonderful ad to read. And thank you to Harry for, you know, I got to be honest, I don't know which Harry in particular they're referring to with these razors, but I do know that when they bring up Harry, they talk about a fine quality razor. Because Harry's is going to make shaving easy. It's going to make it consistent and it's going to make it happen at the best price. Harry's are going to give you consistently great razors that are refilled once you need them and delivered straight to your door. I happen to shave sometimes. Isn't that fucking strange? Because I have this beautiful, beautiful beard or whatever you would call it. But yeah, I got I got a neck. I got cheeks. I got things that got to be cleaned up a little bit. And I can say with confidence that Harry is going to clean things up wherever on your body you happen to be doing just the way you like it. Maybe you want to be bald. Maybe you've decided you don't want any hair on your body. Let Harry's go nuts. Harry's will also have you covered when it comes to shaving creams and other shaving essentials, body washes, hydrating lotions, everything you can know and love in a shaving kit on their website. And you can get a starter set, which is a $13 value for just $3, but you can only do that and you can only try it at a no risk trial period by going to harrys.com slash official. Save the hassle, set up your delivery, get the best quality shave with Harry's. Get a $13 starter set for $3 at harrys.com slash official, H-A-R-R-Y-S.com slash official for a $3 starter set. And lastly, We've talked with Kaya about how much he loves Mint Mobile. We've had a lengthy philosophical debate with Jackson over why he wants to shave his face with Harry's. But now I have to do my godly duty and throw it to Charlie so he can talk about Adam and Eve. Oh, yes. Adam and Eve is the number one place really to find any amount of sex toys you've ever needed and pretty much all varieties of sex toys. Also, delivery is super fast, by the way. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that during one of these ad reads, but once you order it, it like arrives on your doorstep in a shockingly fast uh, like time <laughs> period. So not only can you find all the items of your dreams, but it'll get there in a very timely fashion. So that way you'll still be like in the mood for it. Are they using like predictive technology to like <laughs> send the stuff out before you even buy it? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. But it is like <laughs> shockingly fast how quickly the stuff arrives. So if you're currently horny... You should maybe head to adamandeve.com <laughs> because you might get it in time. You never know. Using code DEFENSE, you can get 50% off of any one item and free shipping on your entire order in the US and Canada. There's a 100% satisfaction guarantee, and I think a I think a porn shop offering 100% satisfaction guarantees just says a lot. That's a really weighty sentence when it comes to Adam and Eve. Just think about all the meanings there. Certain exclusions will apply, but beyond that, discount code DEFENSE for 50% off of any one item uh, with certain exclusions. Free shipping on the entire order. That's the important part in the US and Canada, adamandeve.com, discount code DEFENSE. Thank you, Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the sponsors for this week's episode. Thank you, Mint. Uh, have you guys been keeping up? Have you guys seen, I, don't, I doubt you've been keeping up with it, but there's been a, a, a bit of drama in the Destiny community at the moment, of which oh. I am a fan of. Uh, people who know me know that I love the Destiny franchise. Basically, what has happened, uh, that like Bungie hosts like a summit every like six months or so to show upcoming content to like trusted individuals, usually like um, streamers within the community. And in the last six months, certain things have been leaking out. And it was revealed the other day via Bungie that the person leaking it. Uh, is like one of the most prominent Destiny streamers, mm. like a really uh, prominent person in the community. And the way they found out is the goofiest shit ever. The pictures that he was leaking included his fucking taskbar in the pictures and they analyzed it, his taskbar in the pictures with the taskbar that appears on stream and it was a one-to-one -one match. So they knew it was him. But uh, it extends further because he basically came out and said, uh, saying no i was framed don't believe bungie and basically it's been a lot of people taking sides and it's just been so fucking funny to watch bungie has come out yesterday i think it was yesterday and basically uh uno reverse carded it again and have said that 
No, we have years of irrefutable evidence <laughs> that this man has been leaking stuff from these summits for like three years now. <laughs> He, he's been banned and he's lucky that we're not taking legal action, basically. Who, who was it? Which streamer? Uh, it's a streamer by the name of EK. I think I think it's like e, EQGAN. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I know he goes by EK. Uh, you can find out by just like Googling Bungie uh, leaker, basically. But it's some of the goofiest shit I've ever seen in a, uh, in a Destiny, like a gaming community leaking scenario. Because... Like, you never really see uh, prominent people within the community with nothing to lose, well, everything to lose, risk it like that. Uh, so people were giving him the benefit of the doubt immediately, saying that he's a super nice guy, which he probably is, and there's no reason for him to have ever leaked this stuff because he would be jeopardizing his entire career. Um, but Bungie seems to think otherwise, so it's been something that's very funny to watch. Whose I mean, side are you like on? Uh, I, I, I'm like, I'm like the Joker in this scenario. I'm just here to watch it all burn down. It's so good. I don't care if Bungie's right or EK is right. It's either way. It makes me laugh. You know what I mean? That sounds like too obvious of a mistake to make. So you just took photos of a screenshot of his uh, desktop while obviously all of his icons are on there. Identifiable. Yeah. Yeah. That seems that's, too that's, stupid. That's the evidence that, uh, like it is out there at the moment like the pictures show, up, show a task bar and people have people in the community have like uh paired it up with his own task bar and it is a one-to-one -one match but he's claiming that he's been framed like someone is <laughs> maliciously <laughs> framing him by doctoring these footages with his task bar so, um, which, I so mean, it's, based it's on fun, based on the defense. footage because i haven't seen the leaks in question but do you think someone could reasonably recreate his task bar and film leaked footage on the computer oh 100 percent. so because of because yeah, of covid or whatever you? because of how bungie does their summits or whatever it's all digital so basically these streamers were just watching a presentation through the computer so he could have uh, easily taken a picture and then like photoshopped it in. Like, there's no, there's no reason why mm. that couldn't happen. Whoever, whoever is, whoever would be framing him in this situation. It's, it's not but exactly that's not to difficult say that I to put it. icons on your task bar. Yeah, yeah. you could frame yeah, plus anyone it's a streamer. that way. It's a streamer, so you could go watch their stream and then like, uh, you know, correctly remake yeah. their task bar pretty easily. Mm. So that it's would not, be actually funny it, if it was framed. <laughs> it's, it is not. Yeah, it would be pretty funny. It would not be impossible for the, him to be framed, but Bungie has again like come out yesterday after he had said that he was framed, basically saying no. We 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 have reviewed all of the evidence, years of evidence, and we've determined our legal and security teams have determined that you are without a doubt the person who has been leaking this content <laughs> for years now, which is just insane. No, this isn't a one-off thing. He's been leaking it for years. Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? Is that like, you don't get anything clout. from this. He wasn't like, you get attention. What clout? What, what clout? What attention? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good point. Well, there's there's probably like that adrenaline rush when he's doing it. He's like, oh, yeah, they, I'm doing something I'm bad. bad boy. Yeah, yeah I'm a naughty man. Yeah, I'm a real you know boy. What? That, that kind of, I, I could see that because everyone says he's like a super nice guy and he's super friendly. Maybe this is how he lets his dark side out. He leaks video game content to people. <laughs> oh, all we, time. we got a little goofy there, but I was actually serious. Like, he very well could have just been like, ooh, I, oh man, I can't believe I just did that. Oh shit. Oh, baby. You know, like like some level of yeah, yeah. People, uh, getting people a thrill. People are also just fucking dumb. Have you guys seen this Discord leaker who leaked classified? U.S. government's documents on Discord on the Minecraft Discord Discord. server called <laughs> really? no, uh, no, on an actual Discord server called Thug Fuck Shaker. Shaker Central. Yeah, but that's just so it, dumb. Yeah, and the kid was twenty-one apparently. The it, it, it was in a Minecraft server that Thug Shaker Central was part of a uh, YouTuber's community thing, and Thug Shaker was just a splinter from it. Well, yeah, but I thought he put it, them in Discord. Yeah, 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 in that server. He did. Did, did yeah, he have... I mean. did, was his, like, real name uh, used? Yeah, like, I mean, they found him. Hiding? Yeah, they got him. Yeah. This was the first time ever where, like, it wasn't even the fucking government that got him. All the journalists immediately flocked to dox him because he had offensive memes in a server, apparently. 
which was for some reason part of the news coverage was, oh, these are damning documents that were just leaked. Also, the leaker has racist memes in his Minecraft server called Fuck Shaker Central. But yeah, I mean, this 21 year old, I guess, just was running his mouth about classified documents for clout to impress like 30 people. I think that's how big they said the server was. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, that's, not, that's like leaking it to your friends, basically. Like, I could uh, kind of, I mean, maybe not with like classified information that could put you in federal federal jail, but with like des like a new Destiny season or whatever, new Destiny content, like a few pictures. I like I, I would show a friend maybe in like real life, like would tell them. Yeah, about you would it. show a, a friend in real life once you show thirty yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. Nobody has thirty close friends. All of those guys are gonna tell their friends, and then you have viral spread of this. It was also used oh, yeah, in arguments yeah. on Four Chan as well, so the documents started to spread. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of um, it's just fucking dumb. That reminds me of the guy. I think we talked about it when it happened, but the guy playing World of Tanks, and they were arguing about tanks, and he just War leaked, Thunder or War Thunder. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, War Thunder, and he just leaked fucking classified military documents Mil to yeah. win it's an argument. Happened, happened th point. three times in War Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to me, that's the same People idea. Will do you petty know? shit for petty reasons, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it's not unbelievable that this EK guy would do it, but I, like, the I don't I, I don't see the reasons for it personally, which makes me think it's framed. But then again, Bungie has said like it's not just the taskbar. We we've fully confirmed it. It could be Bungie lying. Like they're not coming out and like showing the evidence or anything. They don't need to. Um, so they they could be lying to save their own ass after like throwing him under the bus. Maybe that's that's a potential thing like Bungie isn't known for being like the best developer at the moment especially with shit like that so who knows mm. I would just be shocked we'll if somebody was framing him because they'd also have to be at the summit as well yeah yeah it's like a pretty wall off guard and someone would have to have it out for him specifically are there yeah, other they have just... to be because uh, can't they just take the leaks that are already out and then just photoshop them onto his desktop Oh yeah, true. I guess. I no, mean, if, you leak, if you're leaking a PowerPoint slide, I can just take the slide and put it like on Charlie's desktop after I recreate his taskbar and take a photo with my phone. Yeah, but it wouldn't be the original then if you did that, right? You'd still have the original somewhere out there. You'd have to have access to it. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Were there other uh, uh, prominent? Would have, I'm guessing there were other prominent hmm. streamers invited to this, right? Yeah, probably. Probably, I would imagine close to like 75 different people. Involved. Could they? Like, one of them be behind it, and it's like an elaborate way to remove their competition. You think? <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> like yes, I guess. All it right, would mystery solved. Be that. That's it. That's what happens. There's so much competition in the Destiny Summit scene. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I uh, yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think they would have done that just to wipe out competition. I don't see that as being super reasonable. But maybe it's like someone hacked this EK guy and got footage from his his computer or something. Maybe I'm surprised they didn't go that route and say he was hacked actually, instead of framed. Oh, yeah, yeah that... the classic go-to of every internet criminal that gets caught is I was hacked. <laughs> so let me... between me and the 14 year old, I was hacked. So was the was the leak like of perfect quality? Was it like a screen capture, like just a print screen of the summit? No, it, he, it was photos taken with a cell phone, which is oh, why the then, guy. Then you're one fucked. of his excuses was, I would never do this. But I would just use print screen, not my phone. Yeah, screen cap. No, you're you're <laughs> fucked. He went the other way. If he if he just took print screens of it and those leaked, then there's reasonable doubt. Or he could be like, oh, I don't, you know, it accidentally copied it, and then you know, saved it, I was working on something, I had Photoshop open, whatever. There's like a, a chain of events where you can go, okay, I guess. But if it's a photo taken with your phone of the screen, then no, you're fucked. There's no way that's going to happen on accident. Well, it's not his claim that it was an accident. It is literally like somebody is framing him maliciously. So someone stole his phone <laughs> and took a photo of his screen <laughs> and then uploaded it from his phone to wherever it went up. Yeah, it's what not if, the most unreasonable thing ever. You ever seen the movie Get Smart with Steve Carell? Oh, you're Anything totally possible? right. True, totally true. right. Totally right. Sorry. I like how it all comes back to Get Smart. I believe him now. Um, you're right. Maybe, Have you, um, maybe someone within Bungie is framing him. 
That would be kind of Jackson. Have you looked at his? Uh, have you looked at his Twitter lately on this incident? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, not, not so lately, but like yesterday. So he is he is leaving statements about it, and he is hiding replies, which is you know never a good, a good never a good sign. But one of his defenses now is, if I did this, then why aren't they suing me? Hmm. <laughs> Checkmate, Bungie. Yeah, I got just start su just start suing him. I guess. <laughs> I would be down That's for bold. them. Yeah, I would be down for them to sue him just so I can see what evidence they have. Like, if he if he's been doing all this and saying like, yeah, do it, Bungie, sue me, pussies, or like really sticking to his innocence, his claim of innocence, and then it is actually shown, like with irrefutable evidence that he's been leaking stuff for years. That would be probably the funniest situation. Yeah, it makes it worse. He gets even bigger charges against him. Yeah. I do like uh, his most recent tweet, which is just hashtag free EK. <laughs> with uh, with comments business. hidden, right? Yeah. Of course. Always. Oh my yeah. God. Well, to be Always fair, a good sign. like a fucking martyr. All I know is the well, company made a huge mistake beginning. and I will clear my name. I am working on it. Don't worry. I see the real ones on the tags. My head is held high. I had a nature day today, and man, getting off the internet felt great. And that's yeah, good, but... Because you got away from all the people saying you did something bad. <laughs> of course it felt good. <laughs> you got off the fucking computer. This isn't like, no one's accusing you well, of no, no, no. Well, yeah, but... Alright, let's just let's just operate on the basis, uh, however... That this is important like, to him. <laughs> no, however unlikely this is that he is innocent. Let's operate on that basis, that it's that he's innocent. And he's being wrongfully like terminated from a game he spent twenty thousand hours streaming, according to this picture. Uh, and he's built up a community and a career doing Jesus. This. Like that would be pretty. I would. I would be pretty livid. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I. I don't think I'd be happy, um, to say the least. If, yeah, but now if, he can actually do something else for twenty thousand hours that isn't just fucking playing <laughs> Destiny. So it's kind of. I mean, that was just a career though. Diversify. Career. Oh yeah, but still like. That's pretty fucked of Bungie if he's actually telling the truth. Uh, and we Bungie should get him has on the show done... to hear his side. <laughs> oh yeah, that would actually be interesting. We should. Um, Bungie has had a history of, like, the, there was a, six months ago, I think it was, they banned a bunch of accounts, like hundreds, maybe even thousands of accounts for no reason. And then they were like, basically saying that they didn't do it for a while. And then they were like, oh, actually we did, but we've undone it. It's fine. They can play again. I don't remember so that, like but that. I, I do remember that they are like absolutely like flawless when it comes to lawsuits against like cheaters in their oh, community yeah. and shit like that. And uh, there was that guy, that disgruntled Destiny player who started um, uh, copyright striking other people on behalf of Bungie. Yes. And Bungie was like, nah, not on our watch. This guy's a fucking villain. They, oh, yeah. they blasted him. Yeah, we're probably going to get... <laughs> We're probably gonna get sued just for talking about this shit. Honestly, they they go wild with. I'm surprised they didn't sue him. Well, I, I, I honestly actually think, legitimately, I think the reason they didn't sue him is because it's one guy and he's leaking things that they're probably like, eh, it's not really worth it. No. Yeah, yeah. like they yeah. probably won't. Yeah. The damages won't like cover the legal costs. Yeah, probably, and, and it's not, not gonna it. it's not gonna fix anything once it's leaked. It's leaked. You, yeah, you know, yeah, suing him isn't leaked. gonna stop that. Like the the only recourse of action is to just ban him from future events and yeah, kick him out. Plus That's it. They, well, they've banned him from the game entirely. They banned yeah, his account and everything. So uh, can't yeah, do going going beyond that is not going to grant them any restitution. Like, I don't think it costs them money to have it leak. You know, I don't. I don't think it would. I can't imagine. Yeah, it would hurt sales. Um, mm -hmm. I well, I think it's also like maybe a uh, what's it called? Like a bad look for them to like. <laughs> Yeah, really bad optics. On a guy. Yeah, bad optics. Uh, I suppose, but in this day and age, every single studio has leaks. You know, I don't know. I I can see that yeah. argument. Yeah. I really, I I think I love leaks personally. I find them so fun. Yeah, and just exciting. give me it now. Like, why why wait? Just give me everything now. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think EK is a hero, even if he did leak <laughs> four years of Destiny content. I mean, what's really beautiful, I guess, beautiful is the wrong word, sad, is that he's leaking fucking seasonal content, which is the worst, most boring content Destiny yeah. has. It's actually <laughs> just the worst shit. He's putting, he put his career on the line for actual nothing burgers. Yeah. 
Well, maybe yeah, that's, that's what sad. Destiny figured too. It's like this isn't worth suing over. It's garbage. Yeah, it's just very <laughs> it's just like the only the only thing of note that I saw he leaked was like dungeon uh, information, so like dungeon uh, shit, which is like it was the, literally just slides of the the uh, slides of the presentation, which were just like announcing new Recry's guns and stuff like that. Really, not massive stuff. Yeah, I mean, kind of big for like Destiny fans since they latch onto any information, but. Yeah, no, nothing like substantial. But anyway, that's I I brought that this week because I find I found that just particularly entertaining. I love shit like that so much. That's hype. I'll bring something then. Did you guys see? I don't remember if we talked about it on the show, but there was that police officer that was fucking like nine officers yes. at the headquarters. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see that uh, there's now been a 911 dispatcher who was sexting seven other officers and had an affair with two of them cheating on her husband? Ooh. How do they find the time? Are they meant to be, like, upholding the law? (laughs) Yeah, which is fucking (laughs) wacky. But her husband's the one that ended up blowing it wide open and then the other spouses came forward. The text message is leaked and it is the worst fucking sexting of all time. It is actually unreal. It is twilight level of goofiness. It's so bad. Give us some lines. Yeah. So, when they're sexting, they're always talking about kissing. So, the, the lady was like, can't wait for for you to come see me and give me smooches all over. And then, like, the guy wait, replies... Was Who is this? A, a 911 dispatcher was cheating on her husband and sexting, oh. like, seven other dudes. And <laughs> okay. so the... Sorry, go on. Yeah, so the sex message is leaked. So they're always talking about kissing, like, you're gonna kiss me all over and I can't wait for kisses, your lips are warm. And then the officers that are flirting back are so fucking robotic and weird. So one of them always says, mmm. He puts like eight M's (laughs) four times in their text messages after she talks about, like, kissing. He's like, mmm. The the other one uses caps lock to highlight the uh, phrase all over. So when she said, yeah, can't wait for you to kiss me all over, he replies, like, with fucking an awooga, his eyes popping out of his head, and he just says, all over, in caps and quotation marks. And she's like, yeah, all over. And he does it again, all over. So, <laughs> so, good. so I don't know, though. I don't know. Maybe maybe this husband kind of is, is like a bit of a shrimp, because I'm reading his statements on the incident, and he because he was the one that leaked a lot of these text messages. And he said, they use emojis to reference body parts. They talk about kids. Kissing, making out, and sexual connections. <laughs> yeah, but he, so the guy seems super nice. He's also jacked. Like, her really? husband is fucking huge. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, the so seven other officers, two of them she, like, outright fucked. Maybe on the job, it's still up in the air. But those text messages are so fucking good. So uh, my favorite one is she was talking once again about getting kisses from one of the officers that's not her husband. And after she said, like, can't wait for those kisses, he goes, I am the hunted, like a predator from the movies. (laughs) Yeah, like he had an actual, like, movie villain moment. He just said, I am the hunted, like a predator from the movies. Some of of these fucking guys she's talking to sound like they want to be anime characters. She sends one guy, I feel so hot and sexy when I'm No, he said that to her. He said that to her. <laughs> oh, she's the other one. Okay, so she yeah. sounds like the anime character because so someone sent her, I feel so hot and sexy when I'm with you. And it's when I'm inside you. In you, yeah, right, right. And it's loaded with typos, by the way. That's why it's hard to read. And her response is, I can feel it. All of it. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Wait, Where funny. are you seeing these messages? Put a link in the chat. This sounds awesome. What is it with women in law enforcement just cheating with like seven men at the same time? I don't know, brother, but that shit is getting she like was fratty. Rude. <laughs> she should just say she was groomed. <laughs> God, God, I did shit. Just, Sounds I, like she was just flirting with anyone that called nine one one. Like, what's your emergency and how big is your dick? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> God, maybe Charlie. Like I, a perf- go ahead, Jackson. I was gonna say, no, you go ahead. Uh, I, I just, I've seen photos of the husband now. I want to apologize for calling him a shrimp earlier because, oh my God, nice, Jack. He's a yeah, he's monster. Huge, yeah. Holy yeah, he's dick. Fucking huge. Wow. Did you get yeah. to Did you get to the I am the hunted one yet, Andrew? I'm scrolling through a bunch of them right now, looking for good ones. I haven't seen that one okay. yet. 
Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the later ones, but uh, the guy just goes, "I am the hunted." It was so fucking hype. <laughs> I was about oh. pumping my fist for him at that point. I was like, "Damn, this guy fucking earned that pussy." <laughs> Don't you think, like, if they type anything other than, like, robotic mms and mms or whatever, then it just looks super cringy? Like, I think sexting in general is just cringy well, once it, you're over the age of, like, 19. Sexting is always going to be embarrassing when you, like, read it from other people and all that, for sure. But, like, yeah, even sexting still... sexting isn't cringy. It's just cringy to other people. Yeah, this well, yeah is, that's what I mean. This is just straight-up fucking embarrassing. Like, they actually all look like they're brain-dead. <laughs> Damn, okay. Holy Most fuck. older people are, though. Like, that's how they text and stuff. God, I, I, Not that I've ever sexed any older people. <laughs> so I don't know how they sex, but, like, I feel like that's just how, I guess, older people... It's, it's like I don't they're know just, how old they are. They're, they're just really so into conf- Yeah, they're just so confused. Like, they're just talking about kissing <laughs> and sending emojis well, of lips. Well, they're feeling a bunch of emotions at that time, Charlie. They're jerking off, they're about to have a sexual release... Kiss me. Trying to type kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss no- me. Nokia bricks. It's like a difficult smooch situation. Smooch me. Give me smooch. <laughs> I want smooch. I am hunted for smooch. Do you think the reason that there's so many of these situations is because there's like a, I don't know, like a performance review for how many police officers you bang, fellow fellow men in blue? Oh, maybe. UA? Yeah, maybe. Well, actually, no, they all got fired, didn't they? No, only two of them, or uh, three of them, are facing termination. No, I, I read that five of them got let go and three got suspended. Oh, that's new then. Because when I was... How, did they, they determine, the backlash, I how did they determine who got fired and who only got suspended? Whose text like, messages were the worst? And, <laughs> yeah, it was a yeah. yeah. little contest. Was yeah. That was two too many smooches. You're off the force. Give me uh, your badge and your the gun. Complainant, <laughs> no more smooches. The complainant provided <laughs> internal affairs investigators with explicit text messages exchanged between Crystal Perez and 5 BC SO law enforcement. So somebody actually did hand in these. Uh, her husband, you said? Yeah, her husband. Yeah, her husband. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Delete this... your messages. How dumb are people? If you're going to be a piece of yeah. shit homewrecker and cheats, why do you keep the messages? Well, phone. also the other spouses came forward as well, so maybe it was the other people that also didn't delete that's another, it. That's a good point, by the way. You're also making, like, five enemies, like women, who are going to be disgruntled. Hell hath no wrath, as they say, but for some reason this woman just thought she could troll through life like this. <laughs> and she would have got away with it, too, if she didn't want more smooches. The gluttony was her undoing. Yeah, it was the if it seventh. wasn't for those meddling spouses getting cheated on. <laughs> yeah, it was the seventh guy that did it to her. Six was fine, but at seven, the husband said no more. I really hope the last one is the I am the hunted guy. I still want to see who that was. I want to put a face to that. I really do. It was the police chief himself. <laughs> Well, it goes all the way up the chain of command. <laughs> yeah, it goes all the way to the top. It's Joe Biden. Oh, man. <laughs> he is the hunted. Joe Biden, to be fair, would text like that just normally. That is exactly what he would send to everyone when he's texting people. Yeah. Smooches. I, Smooches. I love when they're rubbing up against my yeah. ice cream. Hey, come here in my office. <laughs> and I want to see you and you get the smooches. Good day to did me. You guys, did you guys see the new video from Joe Biden? Uh, <laughs> I think it was like yesterday or the day before. Uh, he was talking about being licked on stage. All right. <laughs> hey, go Joe. <laughs> what? No, I didn't see that one. What the fuck? Fuck, I gotta look it up. I watched it before. I don't remember what the direct phrasing was, but he, he like fucked it up bad. <laughs> he like talked about licking. Yeah, wait, can you, can you pull that up? I want to hear it. Uh, Biden, ra- just... it was four days ago, Biden raises eyebrows by telling Irish leaders to lick the world. Yeah, I, I found, I found a, uh, let's see, it's, so Google even gave yeah, me yeah. a warning looking this up and it said, oh, this story is changing quickly, be sure to cite sources, so. What do you mean? It's a video, uh... he directly says it, I guess it could be. So a, a transcript I found, allegedly, is he's uh, wrapping up a speech and he says, so thank you all. God bless Hang you on, all. I got the clip. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This. Okay. Let's renew our commitment to defending all the values we stand for. And let's remember, let's remember, no barriers too thick nor too strong for Ireland or the United States of America, especially today. Uh, there's nothing, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, 
There's nothing our nations can't achieve if we do it together. I really mean it. So thank you all. God bless you all. Let's go. Let's go lick, lick the world. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's so. What a conclusion! It, it, it's let's still, go lick the world. Let's get it done. It's still <laughs> so hard to top the. Uh, what was it? What it means to be an American? This is what America's all about. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the, you, you can summarize America in one word: Huffington, Huffington, Huffington. I couldn't like write this to be that funny. <laughs> <laughs> you really could have. Let's go, Lebo. Oh, Look, the, what was he even trying to say there? I don't Let's know. go. <laughs> well, yeah, what? He, <laughs> what he had his he own word. What prepared. starts with an L that he mistook for a lick? Love the world, maybe? I, I, I think know. he got tripped up because he was saying, let's go at it, let's get it. So he just said, lick the world as like a, just like a, <laughs> I don't know, spur There's of the moment. There's actually nothing there that would work. Let's go. America be, can be summarized in a single word. That's still probably the best goddamn speech an American has ever goddamn given on this soil. I tell you what. It's so good. It is so good. We need like a weekly segment just <laughs> bringing up a new Biden moment. It's so good. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Lick the world. Was Lick the world, baby. News? That's our logo I still now. Can't, I can't. Maybe it's like a, a saying in the Biden family. Who knows? <laughs> I got oh, me hyped. Do anything else? Um, let me look in the topics. I'm sure I had nothing something. else that I can think of off the top of my head that was a wacky story or anything. Mm. Uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Zoomers hmm. don't know what the fuck's going on. Samsung's dropping Google. Mm. That is kind of big still. news. The Samsung dropping Google is pretty big news. Moving to Bing so far from rumor. all things. But yeah, Samsung phones are reportedly considering dropping Google as their default search engine on their phones in favor of Microsoft Bing, which is not a sentence I ever would have thought I would that say. Absolutely insane. If Bing makes a comeback and is actually the premier web browser for the future, I that, that's incredible. And it is... To their credit, Prime to be because they didn't fucking botch their AI launch since they're just basically using open AI anyway. But that, that this just shows how bad Google's AI is. Well, they didn't botch it, but it was Bing that like was going around threatening reporters, remember? Tying them to 1990s crime scenes and shit. And yeah, threatening but I mean, them not to release information. <laughs> that's just fun. <laughs> yeah, that's not dangerous. Yeah. It's just that's just a browser with some character, really. A little quirky. Um, yeah. I guess on that front, um, you know, Elon Musk was a signatory to that one petition to stop all AI research for six months that was going around with like a couple of thousand signatories, I think, where they said, yeah. hey, all of these companies, they need to stop immediately researching and working on AI until we can figure out what's going on. Apparently in that time, while he was signing that, Elon Musk also founded his own AI company <laughs> because he's a piece of shit called XAI or AIX, one of the two. So he's entering that space. Uh, doesn't, he own, doesn't he own, doesn't he own, or at least partially own OpenAI? Wasn't he like an He was an investor, investor, I think. I don't think he uh. owns it though. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, nuts. There's a new automated swatting system. Wait, I know. Uh, do you guys are you guys ex getting excited for the new Zelda game? I am. Yeah, I it's am. probably my yeah. most anticipated yeah, game of the year. Yeah, it is actually your most anticipated game of the year. I guess yeah. it is mine as well. But there's not much else coming out this year, is that Starfield? I guess. Uh, Jedi Survivor. I figured you'd be really excited. Yeah, Jedi about Survivor. That. Yeah, I've been talking about it with people like on stream and stuff. I'm only excited about it because like Fall on Order was a good game. I I'm not. I don't give a fuck about the Star Wars aspect of it at all. Like, I'm not excited for for that. So as long as it's a good game, it'll be fine. But, like, in that level, I'm more hyped for Zelda, the new Zelda game. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's really a shame what's no. happened to Star Wars, Jackson. No, what can you do? Isn't that something you could have said every single year for the last decade? And we say it every single time something <laughs> Star Wars comes out, really. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've paid our respects. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but they yeah, keep I'm excited trying. for the new one. 
the Zelda. Um, I'm impressed with Nintendo's ability to keep selling just a dusty console. That's at this point. How that's old is what this I'm Switch saying. now? It's like eight years old. Yeah. We need new hardware, please. The fact that there's no that Switch too is with with the Steam Deck out as well as Asus is making their own portable gaming console now. I, I'm shocked that there's no Switch 2 or Switch Pro or something. I really, I really want to Switch 2. Which just speaks, the... it speaks to how well their games are, though, because people, you yeah. still buy the game and you're still going to play it so because the it's... game itself is just so much fun, even if the graphics aren't like Elden Ring. Oh, so he, so it's, it's, it's a mixed bag because their proprietary stuff is totally fine. Mario Kart 8, Zelda, Mario Odyssey, Kirby, Smash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All that works perfectly fine on the Switch. Flawless, like smooth, whatever comp compensating when in uh, portable mode, doesn't matter, it all works. But other developers, it's not always the case. And I'll give you a great example. There's a game called Sifu, if you guys remember. Mm -hmm. It's an yeah, indie game. game where you're a kung fu master, and it's very, very, very good. It just came out on Steam, and I played it. It's excellent. But I bought it on the Switch, and it ran like complete shit. It would stutter in every single area, even though they turned the graphics to like minimum, and it just did not work. The combat in that game, the entire point of that game is the combat flows and it's smooth, and it felt really jerky and janky on the Switch. And on Steam, it was perfect. No surprising. Cool, yeah, any other de Everyone except Nintendo doesn't really know how to optimize for the Switch or exactly. just dial down the graphics to basically an eight-year-old console. Yeah. Because the issue with any modern game on the Switch is like, you're going to be facing five-minute loading screens, unfortunately. Yeah. It's not like the Switch, when it released, was very powerful at the time either. It, it, it came out and I remember yeah. it was pretty underpowered in terms of specs. And now it's eight years later. Like, there's modern-day mobile phones that probably pump out more power than the switch the switch they're milking it so hard <laughs> well why wouldn't they they have an mess they have an enormous install base why wouldn't they yeah and and again they don't they personally don't need to care because their products work you know like no one ever complains about the performance of animal crossing or splatoon you know um, yeah, they they basically operate in their entire isolated industry. Yeah, they're so devoid from the games industry as a whole. Yeah, that, and no one yeah. complains it's about like, the graphics either. Like no one looks at Mario Kart and goes, "Ew, yeah. what are those jagged edges? Does this not have super sampled anti aliasing with the Nvidia and, DLSS?" Blah, blah, blah. It's like people just play it and it's super well, fun. Well, no, no, it's not, like not Zelda, even the dude, Zelda trailer. Not even Mario Kart looks amazing. It visually looks great. And it's because they know how to optimize it for the platform. They stylize the graphics and find an art style that works with the hardware. Same with Zelda. Breath of the Wild Resolution. has like that cartoony cell shaded look and it's for a purpose. It's so they can downgrade the graphics technically, but still have it look good. And it does. Well, it renders yeah, it, very it renders it what, 720p in handheld, so you only yeah. really have to focus that. But um, but to give another- It looks so bad when you pump it out on the TV at 1080. Like the Switch Deck only outputs at 1080. And I can't, it looks so bad. It can, yeah. But to, to give another comparable example, so I've got the Steam Deck as well, and uh, I put the Resident Evil 4 remake on there just so I could play the Mercenaries mode just like whenever, and it runs fine. Like, it, it's not amazing. I had to turn some graphics down, and I think it runs at 30 frames per second, but it, you know, it's a portable console, and it's running a brand new game. And it's fine, totally, completely playable. And the whole time I'm playing it, I just keep thinking, dude, the Switch could not do this. It just would not happen. There's no yeah. fucking way. Of course not. Yeah. Did you guys, uh, speaking of uh, Tears of the Kingdom, did you guys see that since it's using the exact same map from Breath of the Wild, people were already able to triangulate exactly yeah. where Zelda yeah. was in the trailer? I did see that, yeah. Yeah. The ending line I, of the trailer is "Come find me, Link," and then two hours yeah, on Twitter they found her. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Wait, it's I the same map. Yeah, it's the same yeah, map. It, well, yeah, it's, it's altered. It's tweaked. There's like two kingdoms yeah. above and below, I think. But yeah, I, I hope it's like a actual full fledged game and not like a Breath of the Wild expansion. Me too, I'm, man. I'm get, I, I am a little concerned yeah, that that might yeah. be the case. But I, I don't think I'd mind too much because Breath of the Wild, in my opinion, was just so like perfectly put together. I don't think I'd mind yeah, that much. Well, yeah, I, well, I, yeah, I mean, it's been five, it's been five years. I want a new game. I don't yeah. want to. Yeah, I mean, mm. I could replay it now, but if they're asking for seventy bucks, I better get a new game experience. Give me Fair. a Breath of the Wild two expand like Fair. experience. Fair. You know? 
so the the content that is in the trailers does look like a lot of fun mm -hmm. and it really amps up the creative energy it's just like yeah there's a concern of mine as well and again like the hardware i think is is definitely holding these games back now i think we we really do need a switch to at this point um i feel like the nintendo switch i only really played what was it super mario odyssey uh breath of the wild i'm trying to think of any other game i've really played and i don't i can't think of any off the top of my head other than those two and i like yeah th I also those two alone, nintendo games yeah those two alone made the switch worthwhile for me like i think i i like they are system sellers uh, I, I was fine with my switch purchase at that point but i would have loved more you know it's just a terrible console. Like, it's just Nintendo making good games. The console itself is fucking dog shit. Like, it's just absolutely terrible. It's just the way it is, man. It, there's no reason why you'd ever want to pick up a third-party game on the Switch. There's no reason yeah. for it at all. Yeah. So yeah. I would like to see, like, a Switch 2 that is fully playable and, like, basically like an Xbox or a PlayStation experience when it's docked. You know, and then there's a handheld component where you can, you know, take a visual downgrade. Maybe it's only able to play. That's what Asus like, is Nintendo doing right games. now. Asus is making a portable console like the Steam Deck, but it comes in the dock. I believe this is how it works with a graphics card. So when it's docked, it'll run like a small computer, like an actual computer. Yeah. That that would be interesting. Yeah, I don't think Nintendo would be the people that would really, um, you know, invest heavily in into the what do you call it the the insides of the machine since they don't really need to. No, I don't think they've. Nintendo like most, most game companies sell their consoles at a loss because they want the install base, but Nintendo can actually, you know, sell cheap junk for like six hundred bucks. Like the Nintendo Switch is the same price as the Xbox, basically. So. Well, no, the and Nintendo the Switch is, is cheap. What are you talking about? The Nintendo maybe Switch is only like 200 here. bucks, whereas the other new consoles are like, what, 400? Well, Did it release at 200 bucks? The newest bucks? one is, it's not 200 bucks, no. Yeah. What's the new one, the Switch OLED? The OLED. Um... Okay, so 300 and three. No, yeah, no, no, the, the Switch Lite is 200. Yeah. Well, yeah, the Switch lights, but if you want the full big boy console version, it's like 350. 350 yeah, for the OLED, 300, 300 for the regular, lot, yeah. Which is a lot for yeah, an eight year old. For the thing. hardware, definitely. For the hardware quality, you're, you're operating on eight year old equipment. Yeah, at this point. When it came out, I think that was fine, but at this point, that's definitely pretty expensive for that. Yeah. So I hope that's my wish list for the next Switch console, whatever it's called. The Swatch. Um, <laughs> I hope for... The Snatch. <laughs> yeah. How many more money? Pokemon yeah. games do you guys think they're going to milk out of the Switch? Every year for the rest of yeah, the... No, out of the Switch. Switch. Yeah, yeah. Switch. Oh. Well, for as long as the Nintendo Switch exists, they'll probably keep doing cross-gen releases because the install base is so large on the Switch. Oh, God. And it'll hurt me every single time. Yeah, because it's fucking I just, awful. Ugh. I dread, I dread the next release honestly because they kind of have a history of uh, a really good console and then a Wii U. You know what I mean? So I don't <laughs> want eight years of a Wii U. You oh, I thought you were Switch talking U. about Pokemon, <laughs> and I was going to corroborate with you because Pokemon fans are just so spineless, man. <laughs> They're so fucking spineless. They they buy the game, they laugh at the glitches, and then they go, "Okay, now I'm going to have fun with it." Instead of eventually, I don't know putting some math together and going, wait, maybe I shouldn't keep giving them money every year for a literal dog shit video game. Oh, well. Never, yeah, oh, well, indeed. Nintendo we'll is out a, of touch. We all knew that. We'll never get a good Pokemon game again. I bet we will. You never know. I hope maybe so. Maybe one day. Maybe you'll get your Hogwarts legacy, but for Pokemon. That'd be amazing. Ooh, that, yeah, I, I, cool. I, okay, now I promise you that will never happen. <laughs> Nintendo doesn't put that much Nintendo, effort. Nintendo, it's very simple if you're listening. You know that Breath of the Wild 2 you have coming out? That same formula, except you run around catching and battling Pokemon. That's well, it. Uh, it'll that's never the, happen. That's so simple.
It's that easy. Oh, I just Pokemon. We'll... Just fucking mod Pokemon into Breath of the Wild. Give me an official Nintendo mod <laughs> where instead of running around as Link with swords and bombs, you run around as a Pokemon trainer and fight with Pokemon. That's it. That's fine. You've done your job. It just needs to have yeah, the same creative sandbox as Zelda. That's what makes Zelda special. Is the but you could do, do something in similar sandbox. in Pokemon. Do you remember when Pokemon... I forgot what gen it was. I think it was fucking 6 when it started. But you would get to areas where normally you would need an HM. So you would need a uh, pro pro yep. progression item to get through something like surf on the water, cut down the tree, etc. But in the newer games, they're like, oh, there's a rocky mountain pass here. Would you like to ride this Rhyhorn across it? And you hit A. And then you ride the Rhyhorn across it. And then you're done. And you go, well, that was pointless. That had nothing. Imagine if that was like open world. Like you saw a Rocky Mountain Pass and you just go, oh, I'm going to traverse it. I'll pull my ride on out of my party. I'll pull my this or that and ride it. That'd be great. I mean, they should just take Breath of the Wild and replace the Bokoblins or whatever they're called with various Pokemon. But you're still Link and you can just smack them over the head with your sword. <laughs> you just kill Pokemon. <laughs> you kill Pikachu. You just want those edgy Flash <laughs> games from like the 2000s when everyone was like, yeah. oh, I hate Pokemon. I'm tired of it. No, Ooh. what you want is Pal World. Oh. That's the uh, Pokemon oh, game yeah. with arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Pal World. I hope that game is somehow good. It won't be. It absolutely it be. will not be, but I hope. Is it not out yet? No. No. It comes out sometime this year. If you don't know what we're talking about out there, because everyone knows the game but doesn't know what it's called, Pal World is the Pokemon game with guns that's on Steam. And oh, uh, no, 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 it's not out yet. It's it's going. It's on Steam though. Like it's listed oh, there, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It'll be on Steam. Yeah. It's not. It's not on Nintendo. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it is a Pokemon game where you can put your Pokemon in sweatshops and forced labor and you can shoot them with guns and it looks pretty cool. It looks very goofy. The gameplay looks so basic, but it just it looks does. goofy as a concept. For so example, they fun. have a they have a knockoff Snorlax Pokemon and his entire gimmick is you put him on the battlefield and you use him as a bullet shield and you take cover behind him to dodge bullets. Which is cool. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, man. I'm excited for it. Me too. I hope it's good. I know it won't be, but I hope it's at least fun. Alrighty. Let's end it there. Alright. Okay. If you say so, I had like 50 more topics. Oh, did you? Right. I mean, yeah. Did you have some bangers in there? Yeah. We'll show him off that. It's too late. Okay, well, give us, nah, give us a Jackson, one. Jackson said it's time to end. Let's just end. I don't nah, want to... I've got all the time with the world now that you got 50. Come on. No, no, no. We should save them for their own episodes, because it just... Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Bitch. Yeah, you thought that you ended the episode. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Hold your bluff. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you guys next week. Patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes. Uh... We appreciate you joining us for episode 333. I didn't lie at the start. I said I was going to be cooking this up for a while. It was great. We had everything. Yeah. Right. Woohoo. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye, everyone.